All right, let's get this sucker unboxed. We got our plug. Oh, how cool. They give us a set of tools to use. That's 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 hot. I like that. Or maybe this is something they always did and I just never did it before. <laughs> just didn't know about it. And of course you've got your USB cable and your plug-ins, okay? And ta-da! The enclosure itself. Okay. Get this box out of the way. Alright. That's a nice solid looking enclosure. Alright. So you see you have all your plugins here. All right, your power, your USB, your on off, and your power lights here, okay? Your power light and your activity light are right there. Now let's get this bad boy open. One thing you know about us here is that we are sticklers for instructions. Bang, okay? Instructions and any warranty information that we can find. So the first thing we want to do in order to install the new hard drive in the enclosure, or I should say the removed hard drive in the enclosure, we'll unscrew. These little screws here are on the side. So we just want to take these suckers out, all right? All right, nothing too difficult. See, we already got them started. All right. So once our screws are out, let's keep track of our screws. All right. Once our screws are out, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out this part here. It's going to come right out, just like that. Okay. You don't have to yank it too hard. Just it's going to come right out. And then once we pull that out. We're going to want to fit in our hard drive and match it up, all right, right in here. So we're going to want to match up our SATA connectors right in here on the hard drive that we took out of our old enclosure. We're going to want to match it up right here, all right. Let's grab the old hard drive, all right. And see how we're set up here, okay? See how we got that ready to go. And we're just going to take our time and get those suckers in there. Alright, we got them matched up right. Bang. Okay. And you notice we have some screw holes here. All right, we're gonna get some screws in place here to hold our hard drive firm once we put it back in the enclosure. All right, so we've got our hard drive in. All right, and now we just have to slide it back into the casing. It shouldn't be too hard. All right. Nice and easy. Slides right back into the casing without a problem. All right. And remember, we screwed it in on the sides there. All right. So now we have to reinstall our two screws that we took out before. All right. Screw at the top. Screw at the bottom. All right. We got to put those back in. All right, so we got our hard drive installed in the enclosure. Pretty simple. And the Insignia enclosure is pretty solid. I like it. My only complaint is that it doesn't have a stand. Bah humbug.
morning.